Confidence men, or con men, lure unsuspecting people into various schemes that they use to gain wealth, power, sex, or any combination of the three. Their strategy is to present victims with something that isn't true, isn't easily proven to be false, and convince victims that there is no reason to question. If their victims critically think about their claims, their scheme, or con, begins to fail. John Alexander Dowie was the most famous religious con man in American history. When he came to the United States, his strategy was to claim that he healed people in other countries. Then, after establishing a group of people that considered himself to be a healer, he claimed to have healed people that were not present or easily accessible. It took newspaper reporters a great deal of time to verify his claims, and by the time that they did, he had moved on to the next county. William Branham, who was mentored by F. F. Bosworth and Gordon Lindsay, who were out of John Alexander Dowie's cult of personality, used the same confidence schemes. Branham's famous Houston photograph, or halo photo, matched this pattern. Branham convinced his listeners that the photograph did not capture the stage lighting, but instead a supernatural light. He then convinced them that they did not need to critically think about the photo because the head of the FBI had already done so, and they sent it to the Religious Hall of Art in Washington, D.C. For decades, Branham's victims did not contact the FBI or seek out this, quote, religious hall of art. When they finally did, they learned that the FBI did not verify the claim. The FBI agent that Branham named was never employed by the FBI, and the religious hall of art does not exist. Some leaders in William Branham's cult of personality continue Branham's con today claiming that the Library of Congress, which stores all copyrighted material, including Branham's halo photo, is the Religious Hall of Art, and claim that its copyright for sale was government verification of the photo. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.